I'm James, and I'm here with Mr. Sinconis, one of the best teachers in this school. Sad that he's leaving. Um, I'm going to be asking him some questions today. Mr. Sinconis, how did you get into teaching? I kind of did it on a whim. I took a uh, full-time uh, substitute teacher job as a special ed sixth grade math and science teacher just to get off the roof. I was a roofer and I uh, kind of decided I liked it. I originally was going to go into law school, but I, I decided I, I had a lot of fun doing it. Yeah, teaching's a good job. Uh, can you tell us about your time in the Navy? In the Navy, I had a kind of a weird job. I uh, tracked submarines from uh, very remote places. While I was in, it was classified, so I couldn't really tell anybody about it. Everybody assumed I was like doing something really cool, but it, in fact, it was like easy job. And uh, I got a lot out of the Navy. Um, I'm glad I did it. Yeah, it's actually really cool. Uh, what lessons did you learn with the Navy, and how did that help in your teaching career? It probably helped me in my teaching career more than anything because I learned how to get along with people from all over the place. Uh, Native Americans from islands off the coast of North Carolina, people from Louisiana, people from Alaska, and I got to work as a team with people that I never would have met. Nice. And then how long have you been a teacher? I think about 25 years, give or take. It's a long time. Yeah. And then what's your favorite thing about teaching? Uh, I like um, I like when the, 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 the rare moments where uh, I like history and I kind of notice that the kids are actually interested in it. Um, it just kind of makes my day. But really, I just like hanging out with the kids, joking around, um, trying to make their day a little, uh, little more fun. Yeah, for sure. I like that. And then, are you excited? Are you sad or excited to retire? Um, I feel uh, like uh, sad sometimes. It, it's uh, I'm gonna miss it. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's time for me to go and have someone younger do it. Uh, but I know for a fact I'm gonna miss it, and I, I'm glad I'm leaving it where uh, I you know, I don't want to be here when I when I'm miserable. So I'm leaving here when I still love it, uh, and that's how I kind of wanted it to be. Yeah, it's a pretty good way to go out. And then, what do you plan on doing after you retire? I'm still going to work. I haven't figured that completely out yet, uh, but I'll be, I'll be working at times, doing, doing different kind of jobs. I'm still kind of figuring that out. Uh, working with my bonsai trees, watch my kids do sports, mm -hmm. um, mowing the lawn, uh, you, you name it. I don't know why I said mowing the lawn, but... <laughs> I mean, it's a good pastime. Yeah. And then, what's your craziest story you have? My craziest story of all time, uh, I have a lot of them, but uh, I think it's the time my brother saved up toenails for three years and threw them all in my bed. And uh, I went to sleep itching so bad. And I'll never forget the gross smell of Parmesan cheese. And to this day, at Olive Garden, no go on the cheese. Yeah. I know it's a gross story, but. That's, that is a pretty gross story. And then, one last question. What do you want to leave your students with? I want them to know that, um, you know, there's, there's many ups and downs in life, but, uh, you know, always strive to uh, kind of laugh at it all and uh, have fun with it. The hard times uh, make the good times just better. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you, Mr. Shankonis, for coming out. Uh, no problem. See you guys. You're my best friend. To David. To, to David. David. Oh.